Hey, hey, it is time to play around maybe a little bit here. Okay, so as you can see, this is super, 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 super early. Okay, so we've got ourselves in a spaceship and uh, which is really cool. So this is going to be, you know, these are all glass so you can look out. You can just fall out actually at this point. <laughs> But as you can see, this is this is a ship that you can kind of walk around and you can get to the, this is the bridge. Um, collisions are being worked on right now. This isn't, this is a level, um, so it's going to have to be built uh, better. But the, 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 the fun thing about this type of uh, thing is this is not actually a level. This is a moving, moving object. It's not like the space station where you can just kind of go in and, and play around. This is a movable object that you're going to need to control. Um, so, so that's going to be a whole bunch of work, but it's going to be fun because uh, we already have a really good idea of how we're going to do it. Um, you'll be able to get into these different seats, you'll be able to take over, and you'll switch the camera view similarly to, to how it does for the character. This is, this is the new character, this is the assassin. Um, he doesn't have his abilities right now, just because this is just a this is just the uh, planetary interplanetary flight uh, module. So um, if you notice, he can fall out, which is is kind of funny. He doesn't have any sprint or anything. He doesn't have basic abilities, but you can see here this is his ship. As long as he doesn't walk off this edge here, um, this is the ship. So uh, definitely cool. It can flatten a hangar, land it there. You can see why we could see through all this stuff. It's all glass on the front. There's no glass there right now, but got some guns. Got some. It's like a, a fairly big ship. It's not going to be your regular ship. Like you'll have, you'll be able to purchase different ships and uh, you know customize them a little bit. But uh, this one's going to be a bigger ship, not something that is just like given to you at the beginning. Um, you have to work to that one, but. Uh, but definitely, I, it was it was a good option to kind of show you guys how it works. Um, it's a little glitched out right now, just because this is the first day we've been working on the uh, the system itself. So, um, as you can see, we'll have a wide range of different designs and stuff. We've got our we've got our guys looking into designing new ships and animals and and all sorts of cool stuff. So. Um, but that's that's part of the the big huge update with the universe uh, thing. So what we're going to be doing uh, right away here is we're going to be uh, working on obviously the mechanics for the players on the ground. So that's the first part. We're adding the space station and we're adding the spaceship interplanetary uh, flight. So. Uh, but the thing is that each of these modules is going to be separate and you can't connect to them yet. Uh, so you'll be inside the ship, you'll be able to fly around, but you won't be able to get out because you'll be in space. So we're going to get that part all working very well. Uh, you know, the, the ships are going to be, you know, working. They're going to be doing their thing. You can run around and you can do stuff. You can fly around. You can take control of the ship, maybe even warp places. But there's going to be nowhere to land. Uh, so we're just going to iron out those mechanics. And then once that's perfect, then what we'll do is we'll introduce it to landing on planets. Once it lands on planets, you'll be able to get in the ship and out of the ship and fly around. Um, at this point, when we do the interplanetary um, flight tests, we're actually going to be able to get out of your ship and kind of float around. Um, and then like, you know, mag, oops. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll be able to mag, uh, mag boot on the top or whatever, you know, um, that way you, you can actually actually get out of the ship but if you jump or anything like that you'll float away and that'll be it so um really neat stuff though i'm really excited about working on this this is the next level uh our team is actually starting to grow so at first it was just me messing around then we decided we had a really cool concept here and then now the team is on board and more and more people are joining uh working on different aspects of it and then we'll come together um, so yeah, like we said, we, we kind of went in there and we, uh, we applied for an epic mega grant here to see if we could, uh, focus some of our attention or all of our attention on, um, developing the universe, uh, procedural planet universe, uh, creator. So what that does is it actually generates, uh, planets 
and generates geography and randomly procedurally generates animals and water and terrain and everything on that. So that's what's really neat about that is, is that we're going to have some, uh, some really neat stuff going on. Uh, once we get that going on, we'll literally be able to fly to millions of planets with millions of different things going on because it's all procedural. Uh, well, obviously, like for, for AI missions and stuff, we'll, we'll be able to spawn missions in certain areas like that, similar like Moon, No Man's Sky, or Elite Dangerous, but, uh, but that's, that's going to be part of that process. But in the meantime, we're going to have a nice space station that we'll show you here in the next couple of days. Uh, we're going to show you this thing in action. Uh, there's going to be a lot of texturing going on for the next little while to get this thing to look very pristine and beautiful. But there's going to be a lot of work. We're going to have a whole team working on the interplanetary uh, flight. So um, so just, just the mechanics of making this work are just going to be a whole team of people doing it. Um, and then then there's going to be a whole team working on the planet side stuff. Like right now we have oxygen. Like you can run around and you run out of oxygen. And, and there's a lot of other cool mechanics that are running on. And, and the, the game, the, the characters themselves, they have different mechanics from each other. And there's going to be different ways. We've got the new third person or first person view. Um, and then we're adding more guns and weapons and grenades and all that. So that's all being worked on. Uh, and then the space planet, like we'll just be able to go to a, uh, a station and kind of run around in there, do some stuff. Um, but really, it's just all in testing stages. But the multiplayer that's coming soon, uh, multiplayer is going to take care, uh, take place on the uh, the planet surface. There's going to be some really cool stuff going on there. Um, so that that uh, stay tuned for that because that's going to be really really neat. Um, you'll be able to interact with teams and stuff like that. So that'll be neat. But the uh, the interplanetary spaceship travel stuff and the station stuff is going to be fairly limited. Uh, probably not have a whole lot of multiplayer on that just because we're ironing those out. But once they are finished and ready to rip, we're all gonna we're gonna plug them all in. So you'll be able to fly your ship to the station, get out of the station, go walk around, do your thing, get out, get into your station or into your ship and fly to the, the planet surface, and then do the multiplayer gig. And uh, then, yeah, that'll be neat. And then uh, part of the interplanetary flight thing, uh, the final stage is going to be um, damaging the ship and fighting ships and stuff. I think this, this whole interplanetary thing is not going to be finished uh, for a long time. So we will implement it and we'll plug it into the rest of everything. But it will, it'll take a while because we have some high expectations for how this stuff's going to work. Um, let's say in, you're in the middle of the ship. Uh, here, um, you're flying around and uh, you get damaged, you get into a fight or you, you know, you run into something or whatever, you know, you can take damage uh, and that damage will have to be fixed by your guy here. So um, he'll be able to fix it. Or if you've got multiplayer, multiple people will be able to go through and repair the modules on the ship while it's in, in space, like not at a station. So you might have to get out and do like fix some stuff. Maybe that engine will you know take a beating and you won't be able to fly. Maybe your warp drive will will go out. Uh, maybe you know the weapons will be out and, and you want to fix those while you're on the road. Stuff like that. That's all going to be mechanics that we're adding. So um, I don't expect to see any of that finalized before we plug in the uh, interplanetary with the planetary. But uh, you never know. Our team is working tirelessly, tirelessly. Not, I can't even stress that enough. Uh, not sleeping just to get uh, these things all plugged in and just get some super cool, super cool stuff for you. Uh, in the meantime, while everybody's waiting for gameplay stuff, guess what we've got? We've got a whole bunch of... Uh, we're working on some some stories for some cinematics, and so we're going to build out this universe uh, and and build up some lore. So the really neat thing is that we're going to actually have, you know, short films, cinematics, episodic stuff uh, featuring these characters, um, and then building up that universe so that everybody can get a little closer to the feel of this entire thing. So. Um, I'm just, I could talk all night if I really if you really let me. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. That uh, this is a really expect or a really exciting part of this, and expect to hear back from me here in the next couple of days to see some updates on the space station. Um, give me about a week at the most. Okay, guys. So thanks for tuning in. We will update you pretty quickly on Project Sirius very shortly. 
have a great night.